Are we in the end times, Anne? Uh, with all my heart, I believe so. I believe we're at the end of the end times. Talk a little bit more about that. Well, we could take the rest of the day to talk about <laughs> that. Um, I base my conviction primarily on what Jesus said in Scripture and other signs that are given in Scripture. Matthew 24, I just listed the signs, categorized them, I watched for them. And, um, and so we're seeing signs that he said are like birth pains, which means, I think, they increase in intensity and frequency. So when something um, is record-breaking, which the earthquakes, the you know, uh, snowstorms, the floods, um, they're, they're record-breaking that's increasing in intensity when they increase in frequency. So it's not just one you know, historic flood this year, but now it's like this month and now it's this week, and it's just, you know, they're, they're ratcheting up in frequency and in intensity. And that's just, um, you know, in, in the Matthew 24, he gives signs in the natural world, in the national world, in the spiritual world, in the personal world. The, the one that strikes me the most is uh, two signs that he gave in the global or the international world. And he said that when the gospel is preached to the whole world, Mark, then the end would come. And right now, you know, I'm in touch with some major organizations around the world. The gospel is being preached for the first time in human history to the whole world. And a person may not hear it in their first language, but they can get it in their second or third language. It may not be a live presentation, but it can be on the Internet or ham radio or printed material. Um, the gospel right now is going around the globe to the whole world. Jesus said then the end would come. So so then I asked myself, are we living in then? And then the other uh, global sign was when the nation of Israel would be reestablished, reborn. And uh, Isaiah said, who could believe a nation could be born in a day? But Israel was born in a day, May 14th, 1948. And when she was reborn as a nation, just think about it. You know, it's, it's been my whole lifetime, so I, I, I have never known a world that Israel wasn't a part of. But you think about it. For the first time in 2,000 years, that descendants of an ancient people would go back to their ancient homeland, speak their ancient language, reestablish their ancient nation and culture. That's what Israel did in May 1948. That's a phenomenon. That's God pulling his people together, reestablishing that nation. And Jesus said, when you, the generation that sees that take place is the generation that will be the last. And for me, it's meaningful. I was born May 21st, 1948. So I believe it's my generation. Whatever my lifetime is, I believe I will live. If I live out my natural lifetime, I believe I will live to see the return of Jesus Christ to this earth. 